Science. The tiny Danish island Samso is garnering a rather big reputation as a leading sustainable energy island. In 1997, the Danish Energy Agency gave it the tough task of eschewing all forms of non-renewable energy in favour of greener alternatives. It's since significantly reduced CO2 emissions and even has its own energy academy. When we started, Nobody was really sure about the, the financial benefit of, of the project. What would be the impact of this? They knew that we were going to make a lot of investments, but would the return be interesting? What was interesting here, if we could make a budget for people to convince them that this was going to be better than what they had before, we could then get them on board. What was even better was that the oil price kind of went up all the time. This is interesting because this kind of helps the optimism of, of this, that green development is good. It helps you, it improves your economy and you save money. To improve household energy efficiency, a national program has subsidized the installation of various biomass heating, solar collectors and heat pump systems for the entire community. And thanks to the installation of a wind turbine, this farmer is looking forward to reaping the financial rewards when he retires. I'm not so young more, so now I, I sell the cows and uh, I can earn my money from the, the wind. I have uh, enough money, so why shall I... Uh, stand up every weekend and uh, give food for the cows and say good night for the cows. So now I want to have a, a good third life, yes. And I have start to build a new house up in the hills and we will build a house uh, with very, very low energy. The population of Samso own all the wind turbines on and off the island as a collective cooperative. But with cars and ferries still relying on fossil fuels, the islanders have one last obstacle to overcome in their pursuit of sustainability.